Welcome back. My name is Sarah if you are new here and I like to make YouTube videos. Today it's gonna be pretty casual. I think it's gonna be a casual video. I'm gonna do some getting ready with you guys. Get ready with me. Today is a big day. It's the big day. It's not my wedding day. Soon I hope. Maybe one day. Not engaged yet but uh the big day for now. Um, you probably can already see that in the title. Today I'm going to be going to the Ariana Grande Dangerous Woman Tour. I'm pretty pumped about it. Uh, I'm going to get ready for it. For those of you who already watched my videos, I know this hair situation, it's not normal, okay? But I've parted it in the middle and I've straightened it. It's also not normal because we're going to try something new with our hair today. I figured I've been watching some some videos, seeing some pictures, and um, Ariana seems to have like this really cool um, like double braid space bun look that I'm gonna half attempt because we're not doing space buns. I don't think I can do the space buns, but I'm gonna do the double braids. We're gonna we're gonna see if we can do it, but that involves me having my hair parted in the middle, you know what I mean? I'm out of breath and I don't, I don't know why. But getting right into it, I'm just gonna start trying to do my hair. None of this is gonna be a tutorial. I'm telling you right now, I can't teach you this. I can try. Maybe in further videos, in a long time from now, I will teach you guys something. I do actually have a hair tutorial that I posted a few weeks ago, I think, a month ago. Not sure how long ago that was, but I do have one. I'll link that down below for you guys. It actually does involve a Dutch braid, so, you know, let's get started. Alright you guys, so I'm not gonna lie, I think that was probably the hardest thing I have ever had to do. I don't know if I got even like a good filming of that for you guys, so if I didn't, this is the finished look. That was really hard. This side, I don't know what it is. Let me know down below if you guys have the same issue, but, but for some reason on this side of my head, which is like my right side of my head. It's so easy and I can do it in one shot. Looks good. No problem. And then I go to this side of my head, which is the left side of my head. And I'm not kidding you guys. Like, being real, off camera, this side took me like 10 tries. At least 10. I, I would like everyone to just keep in mind. <laughs> this is like not a tutorial or anything. I'm just straight up doing my makeup. For you guys on camera nothing really special today I don't think if you're curious I can list the products that I use Also, let me know, do you guys have brow hairs that just won't stay in place? Like you could gel them to the heavens and they're just gonna go down and they're gonna look like poo no matter what. Let me know because I had some and you wanna know what I did? I just plucked them out entirely this morning. I don't know if it was a good idea or not, but they gone, so. Thank you. 
All right, so the battery died, but we're back up and running again. So if the angle is like an inch different, I think I'm just gonna fly through like my concealer, contour, things like that. Nobody cares about that. Does anyone care about that? I did do my like entire concealer foundation, contour, the whole shebang in my last video which you haven't seen, you should go watch that. It is my first spring look. It is an actual tutorial. I do actually show you guys some stuff. I actually did that video with my really beautiful, amazing friend here on YouTube. Her name is Jasmine. Her YouTube name is That So Yin. So if you don't know who she is, I don't know where you've been because she is so, so amazing, so talented. I can't say enough nice things about her. I did a video collaboration with her last week. This video I'm talking about. Go and watch it. Go and watch hers. You know, just letting you know if you haven't done it yet. But really, honestly, I do want to say thank you, you guys, because that video actually did get quite a lot of love. And I, like... It really, really makes me so happy that you guys are leaving comments and leaving likes and just kind of like, you know, continuously watching. Or if you guys are new, hi, it's really nice to have you here. This is a weird video, maybe it's a little casual, but I really am super excited to have all you guys coming in. Probably, you know, you're thinking she's a weirdo. Why am I here? But maybe you're a weirdo too. So if I haven't mentioned, there will be footage in this video somewhere, after, obviously after I've finished getting ready, but there will be footage. I will show you guys the tour. I don't know how much of it I can show you. I'm hoping you can't like get copyright infringement for this, but... You know, we'll do our best. I think it'll be fine. I don't think it'll be a big deal. I'm not too concerned about it, honestly. I think I'm gonna do pink. I'm gonna do some pinks. I'm gonna keep it, oh, well. Whatever you really consider pink, I'm gonna keep it in the pink family, so. I actually just recently picked up these ColourPop pressed pigments, so I have created my own little quad. I'm gonna use them. And they're kind of pink, right? I think I'm actually gonna do like a video about like all the stuff that I got from ColourPop because I did get quite, quite a bit of things, but I'd like to do like a haul review because hauls are kind of a little bit pointless to me honestly I think I'll just do like a this is what I got and this is what I think kind of video so let me know if you guys are interested in that I did get you know an average amount of stuff from Colourpop that I'm really excited to talk about I always like to take my transition shade from like the same shade that I used for my contour I think that it just kind of like it's a good shade and it brings everything together. So if you're curious, my contour shade is the Too Faced Coco Contour Palette. I'm starting to finally, well not finally, it's been actually a long time coming, hit pan on two out of four of the shades. People in my house are starting to wake up, so maybe we should hurry. leave that there and just go in with a wing. I 
I'm gonna go ahead and do some lashes, probably get that done off camera because it's gonna take me a while. These ones are new, I haven't like sized them and trimmed them yet. So if anyone's curious, they are the Dodo lashes in 119. Flirty. I mean, I'm pretty much already almost done. I'm gonna go into blush. I'm actually gonna take a blush that I haven't used in like, oh my God, so long, but I have it. And I remember being obsessed with it. You guys, this is a blush from Cargo. It's like Barbie pink. Um, it's called Amalfi. And you can see like, it definitely, it was well loved when I first got it. Um, I moved on. To more tame neutral colors but i think we're gonna bring it back we're gonna bring it back to this barbie pink blush from cargo i'm also gonna go ahead and bring out a newbie i'm actually gonna do like a video with this so I'm not going to go too in-depth, but I do want to wear it today. So it's the Smashbox Casey Holmes collaboration. I'm just going to put it on. We're not going to go much further into that, I think. I definitely think this highlight tells like a whole nother story when you have these lights on though like if you don't have these massive lights shining in your face it's probably not as insane I don't know I've worn it a few times because it is like it just recently came out in stores I couldn't get it online oh my god part of me feels like I have like my favorite lipstick like in a purse somewhere so we're gonna go probably with an oldie but a goodie which is my fave trap from Colourpop. I don't know if they still have this because I got this like way long ago. All right, you guys, so this is it for my face. I did my makeup, it's looking good. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I think that's gonna be it for this portion of the video. I'm ready, my hair's done, my makeup is done. Um, concert honestly is not for a few hours, so I think I'm gonna leave it here. I will say goodbye to you guys, but I will now be inserting the footage, so. It's gonna be like a little time warp. We're gonna go a couple hours into the future and you're gonna be there with me. So hopefully we don't get copyrighted for this. Um, yeah, I think it's gonna be fun. I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Did you go to the Dangerous Woman Tour? Are you going? Do you even wanna go, honestly? And what's uh? What's going on in your lives? Let me know down below. Subscribe if you haven't already because I'd love to have you here in my family. And uh, yeah, enjoy the footage and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. If you're with me, Montreal, let me hear you.